Asia News. Tika. And yes, indeed, only time will tell if indeed the fertilizer had issues or not. Now, sadness engulfed Kabarnet Gardens, the residence of former President Daniel Arap Moy, as the family gathered to plan the burial of Jun Moy, who passed away on Thursday morning. The family sources have told KTN that Jun will be laid to rest on the 18th of April in Bahati, Nakuru, and Aruka Mass is scheduled for 14th of April at the Kabarnet Gardens. Here's KTN's Francis Ontoma with more. The usual serene ambience of Cabernet Gardens was for a moment tinged with sorrow. Guests from various walks of life, including top political figures and businessmen, began arriving early in the morning to mourn the loss of a woman described as a pillar of strength for the Moi family. John Moi died on Thursday morning at the Nairobi Hospital after a short illness. The demise of our sister John Moi hit us with a lot of surprise because we didn't know, nobody knew that she was unwell. And so um, we want to take this opportunity to pass our deepest condolences to the entire Moi family at this most difficult time and to give them our assurances that we are with them, we'll stand with them. June's elder brother and former Rungai member of parliament, Raymond Moi, reminisced their close ties growing up. When I was in the U.S., when I was studying in the U.S., when I had completed my studies, June then came to the U.S. See, she was in Boston, I think, for about, for her undergrad, for four years. Then she went to Canada for a year and a half, two years, for her master's in psychology. So she was, she was a fun person to be with. So we enjoyed that. Messages of sympathy filled the condolences book bearing testimony to the lives June touched and the lessons she left. Everybody who has remembered June, I'm quite sure, has been called to some kind of order. That there is life beyond the politics, uh, there is a friendship. I've just talked about Mzee's true heritage to us as a country, yeah? That we should love each other. Remember his philosophy that time, yeah? Uh, love, peace and unity. Fondly remembered for her exuberance, June began her education at Nairobi Primary School Kilimani, Kenya High School and Loreto Msongari. She later studied psychology at the Boston University in the U.S. Despite her larger-than-life status, she chose a reclusive lifestyle. June loved everyone. June had no time to hate anyone. June did not have time to say, this is my enemy or, you know, you have. She would not. She, she, she enjoyed the company of all people. She died at the age of 60 and left behind a daughter, Paula Jepkemboy. Francis Ontomwa, KTN News, Nairobi. And our thoughts and prayers goes to the family.